Hi everyone at Green Hill. Uh, thank you for having this conversation with me. I'm at my studio in Greensboro and I'm I'm happy to talk about my artistic journey. Uh I think it started when I was about 6 years old. I picked up the pencil and and I was very inspired by a cartoon image and I wanted to replicate it and I I kept making that drawing for several days until I perfected it and and I never stopped drawing after that I think I had found my calling or my passion at that time and uh my father soon noticed that I was good at drawing so he suggested me to join uh the college of art local college of art in India and that's what I did I I I joined the college of art and I did my 4 year BFA degree and I I started doing illustrations and I think by the 3rd year of college uh it was the year 1995 that I held my first art exhibition of drawings and and in a way sort of I declared myself to be a professional artist even though uh it wasn't something welcome because uh, a student doing an art show uh, wasn't quite a thing and the same year i also won a national award for illustrating children's book so i can say 1995 was a year when i kind of launched myself as an artist and and i was lucky enough that next year when i was in my final year of college Uh, a leading local newspaper they were looking for illustrators and they approached me because they found me as one of the hard working art students who was always in the studio working and so so i i started illustrator uh, started as an illustrator for this newspaper and and soon became a household name in that region in that city which was my hometown where i was born and ever since that i've been illustrating books and illustrating for magazines and newspapers websites and and painting also continued on canvas and eventually you know i ended up being here in in america Uh, on an artist visa as i had gathered enough experience over the years and i had some good clients who gave me contract to work here and and i came here and and here i am and i i took on doing painting murals uh, when i came here and, and that's a new addition to my Uh, my skill set and I, i think i'm 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 loving it being here i was an art critic for nearly 7 or 8 years with the same newspaper where i was working primarily as an illustrator and there was a time when they were looking for an art critic and one of my journalist friends suggested the editor to to let me write about art because he knew about my academic side and and that's how it started and it, it was great because i i enjoyed doing it because i would be able to uh, meet different contemporary artists and look at different works and, and and be exposed to you know different techniques and ideologies and have a dialogue with different artists so uh, and and got a chance to exercise my my intellect or you know my my expression and my writing skills as well it wasn't difficult for me because i think i 
had studied the art history of the world during my masters that helped me and then i was a painter so i could kind of uh, i had an insight of how artists think um, and how they work and also like i i read some good books of other art critics and art historians and and that kind of helped me in 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 you know being able to to analyze an artwork and and explain it to to lay people and how to approach an artwork and what to look for it and how to critically analyze an artwork mm, critiquing other artists artwork did interfere in my art practice because i i tend to get into a self critiquing criticizing mode and you know i was uh, all those parameters that i applied on others uh, when i went back to my studio all, all that came back to me as well and i was uh, always constantly worried about whether the idea that i'm thinking to paint is good enough or is it original enough or uh, what are the influences on it and and is it is it valid or does it make any sense is it adding to anything to the art world and and that was kind of negative for me and because i i stopped painting and because i i ended up disliking all of my ideas and i think as an as an artist you you need to stop worrying about any any critic and you you have to be brave enough to just vomit out whatever you are thinking on on your canvas and it can be like it it varies from artist to artist some people are very meticulous they they formulate ideas they write and they sketch and they they work on compositions and they take their time to to come up with a body of work and, and especially the people who do installation or conceptual art but, but but i i'm i'm more of a spontaneous artist and i and i like to to just play with colors and and paint and bring out my approach to art is very emotional rather than uh, being intellectual and more visual so, so i think art critic uh, art my role of art critic uh, it kind of hampered my journey uh, as an artist The artist I would like to talk about today is named Naik Chand. He is an Indian artist, uh, born in 1924 and died in 2015. He was a self-taught artist known for building uh, the Rock Garden of Chandigarh, uh, which is my birth city. Uh, it's a huge uh, sculpture garden uh, and a very famous spot in India. And th there is a very interesting story. about how he started building this place like and uh, he chose a, a spot in in forest outside the city and he started collecting materials from from demolition sites uh, around the city and he re recycled uh, all this material and started building human figures and animals and bird figures uh, from using Uh, broken glass bangles and crockery mosaic and iron and combined them with cement uh, concrete and sand mix so and and he kept this place hidden for almost 18 years until the city found it out and they wanted to demolish it but he got the public opinion in his side and and this was eventually Uh, inaugurated as a sculpture garden for public and it soon uh, became famous for being something which was created from uh, recycling material and he uh, went out of uh, he traveled out outside the country to 
give lectures about it and his his work is now in in various museums across the world including uh, the Capitol Children's Museum in Washington DC and the American Folk Art Museum in the New York City and uh, i think uh, the John Michael Kohler Art Center in Wisconsin USA owns the largest collection of uh, Naik Chand's work outside of Chandigarh uh, that's in India so i think uh his work is is phenomenal and uh, very important because it, uh one the his figures have a very folk appearance and, and secondly he taught us to use discarded material and and turn it into something beautiful and and it's a great example of recycling and reusing and rebuilding um right now i am working on uh, multiple projects and i'll i'll start with this big piece that is you can see right behind me is it's an 8 feet by 4 feet painting uh, which is an a customized version of my this artwork which won the art pop street gallery award in 2019 so this beautiful family they they noticed this on on the billboard uh, somewhere near winston salem or um, mabane i guess and and they they reached out and they said like change these characters to suit their family and to tell their story so i'm customizing it and doing this a huge piece in latex paint and apart from this i'm i'm working on uh, a children's book based on bible stories um that's a long going project and i'm loving doing those uh, realistic biblical illustrations and apart from that outside my studio i'm i'm painting on uh, this big mural at the shopping center near church crossing and lee's chapel road so i'm going to paint an abstract piece i've already started on it you can see uh, and this is an abstract piece on the face of the building and on one side of the building i have started painting uh characters from marvel and dc comics and and people are already loving it and have like knocked out a, a few characters and people stop by take pictures and, and and there are so many comic lovers out there and comic nerds and i'm sure they're going to really like it and this project is going will go on for maybe a month or so because i have to paint all these characters on the on the whole back of the shopping center so these are a few exciting projects that i'm working on and besides this i will be working on paintings and drawings which are just for my own sake like art creating art for art sake or my own heart's sake so yeah